Hello, Van Rand here playing Farming Simulator 22 on Elk Mountain, Wyoming here. And I just finished uh, setting up our fourth belt here. And apparently the truck up here must be up full. Uh, uh, do this. Okay, there we go. Now we can talk again. Everyone just, it was just yeah, loud, obnoxious uh, truck there. I don't know why that truck is so much louder than everything else. But anyway, sometimes just, you know, get it out of the way. Don't even bother talking because you folks probably can't hear me anyway over talking that thing. Okay, anyway, I was going to say, get our uh, trucks rolling here. Not sure how many of these we're going to be able to fill up here. We'll find out. Uh, speaking of trucks, by the way, I do want to upgrade our trucks here uh, this episode. It's going to be one of my uh, goals here. Uh, to upgrade some bigger uh, trucks, hopefully the the 100 ton trucks. I at least I believe that's what the uh, number on them stands for. Or is it 100,000 pounds? Something like that. Whatever it is. Oh, get that. Uh, not in the right spot yet. Nope. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay. Got a pretty good uh, pile of dirt here yet to uh, move yet. Although I think with the uh, the three trucks here, we could probably move this fairly uh, quickly. And you ran out of dirt already. Okay. Is that really not in the right spot? I guess not. Problem is, I'm on this, this pile's almost a little bit uh, too close, right? Needs to be like just a little bit uh, further back, really. Actually, uh, this is the Cat 980. I probably really should be. Where's the. Ah, uh, there's the. Yeah, let's try the Komatsu here a minute. Let's see if we can maybe move that uh, pile just a little bit uh, closer. I mean, don't get me wrong, I mean, the, uh, the Cat 980, that's a big loader. But in comparison to. Actually, you know what? We got a nice road up here. We can park this on, right? Uh, that's what the road used to be, I guess. Actually, I don't know, where does this road go here again? Which road is this? Oh, yeah, okay, the orange road. This is the orange road that actually initially got you up to this uh, mine site here before we put in the, the new road here. Oh, that's right, yes, the Komatsu oven. One moment while it starts up. Which, you know, I've talked about this before, I mean, you know, they got the startup sequence on here. Probably very realistic, right? I mean, the only problem with this is then you got other mods that don't actually do that, so it's kind of annoying. Not gonna dump out. Why are you not gonna dump out? Fine. Are the trucks all full? No, the trucks are not full. Okay, this was unloading, wasn't it? Thought it was. I guess not. There we go. Just kind of push this whole pile right over. I probably should have, like, moved the pile back a little bit or something, I guess, Evan, right? Well, that did not work. I don't know if you can really uh, push with this or not. I've never really uh, tried that. Let's, uh... Yeah, I don't think that actually works. Uh, the bulldozer, I mean, again, uh, when it comes to this whole uh, operation, everyone, it, uh, yeah, a lot of uh, mechanics or physics are really lacking here, I guess you could say, right? I'm on. You know what, let's see if we can uh, lock those diffs here a minute. There we go. Might as well keep them both locked. Uh, 
Okay, apparently we're gonna need some more uh, trucks to uh, remove this entire pile. Well, that's fine. Well, we're uh, waiting for those uh, trucks that we just uh, filled up to uh, get back. Let's do a little shop in here, everyone. And, oh boy, was it under this category? I'm always uh, trouble remembering which category it's under that we want to look for. I mean, again, there's all, yes, we definitely want to look at getting that one. But before I get that one, I did want to try the, I thought it was a Volvo, wasn't it? Not the 60, we want the 100. Apparently not in this category. Okay, how about, was it this category? Nope, that's just a crane. Oh, uh, speaking of the cranes here, by the way, I do have several uh, cranes. The only thing I don't know, like, what can we do with these cranes? You folks have any ideas? Let me know, and I'll, I'll be happy to give these cranes a try. I'm just, uh, I, I don't know what to, uh, what to really do with them. In fact, we have a really, uh, really cool one here. If we go to, let's see what's here. Is it this one? Nope. Oh, this one, yes, there it is. That category. The, uh, the J.R. Brown Overland. <laughs> So yeah, there we go. Got a huge crane. Oven. Comes in all uh, bits and pieces here too, if I understand it correctly. So there's like the base. Then we got, I don't know, do we have to have the foot pads? I guess we do. Yeah, the foot pads. And I have no idea what some of this stuff even is. I mean, we got ballast and more ballast and a uh, winch. And then uh, there's a boom and then there's another boom. And then there's a boom trailer. And then there's, oh my goodness. I mean, yeah, no idea. Different uh, hooks. Really should that, that looks like a mod that's just gonna like take a while to play with. Oh, back to the shop anyway. So is it gonna be this category here then? There's another one, two hundred sixty thousand pounds. That's also another really big one. Not the one I'm looking for though. There we go. And yes, the Volvo R100, which holds seventy-two thousand. Actually, really not that much more than what we're currently hauling. Although this truck here, it, again, probably in comparison to. I'm, I'm assuming, yeah, I, th I think the Volvo's a little bit smaller than these, Evan. Look like eyeballs on there with those lights, don't they? Anyway. So, yeah, I thought we'd give this truck a try. When the Volvo R100E, 72,000 liters. Oh, good. Now the truck uh, is back. Let's go uh, top that off here a minute. Thirty-five yards at a time. I don't know if I have any bigger loaders than this kind of. I think this is the biggest loader we got, I think. And dump that over there, hopefully where it can access it with the belt. That's what I used to uh, clean up some of the last uh, mess we had having the front loader, just, uh, you know, 35 yards at a time. If I remember correctly for what those trucks hold, uh, basically was it like a scoop and a half from this uh, front loader will fill those trucks. Carefully, I don't get into that belt too much. Nope, speaking of trucks, there comes another one. Again, got to say, um, with Auto Drive here, Auto Drive does a fantastic job of basically traffic control, I guess, if you will, there when it comes to the unloading location. Obviously, this is one you got to back up into. And uh, yeah, so far, Auto Drive has done, or for the most part, every now and then you got a little bit of a problem. You got to you know, fix it maybe about once an episode or every other episode, probably really, but every other episode, you got to fix it there. Actually, see once if we can uh, dump it closer and get that one to pick it up here, too. Front loader last does not seem to have any, like, uh, pushing power, if you will, though.
Okay, looks pretty good here for now. Let's go get our, uh, oh, well, get a new truck. Get a new truck here. And actually, uh, we'll probably want to get two of those, actually. Show me. Yes, that's right. Good point. We just got the one. Let's get a second one here. So, yeah, let's get uh, two of those. And uh, two of these, actually, I have, uh, what is the capacity on our current ones here? Are those under this category? I think they're under this one here, aren't they? The R, well, actually, they're not even the R model here on this one, are they? The A, yes, the A60, those hold 48,000, okay, so if that's in 48,000 liters, the other one held 72,000, so two of these trucks are going to be similar to, or similarly, similar capacity-wise to the uh, three trucks we have now, so essentially we're going to be replacing our three trucks with two trucks, that's the way I'm looking at it anyway, right? Let's head back down to the shop here, get these trucks headed up here. Oh, yes, Evan, there's the big excavator. We'll get to that at some point, like I said, Evan, at some point, maybe, uh, maybe later this week. Oh, no, that's, uh, yeah, that's a little bit bigger truck, right, Evan? Just a little bit bigger. Oh, boy. Now, the one concern I do have with this here is how well this is going to run along the drive. No, the south open. Maybe I better just not drive this home here, one. This uh, does not seem like a safe thing to have auto drive driving here. We do want to go up to the clear cut. Get across the bridge here, then maybe we can have auto drive take over from there. We'll probably have hope no one's coming here, because I don't think there's going to be room for two of us going across here. Oh, we're not going to make it in time, are we? Oh, there's just rope. Just. Okay, let's get the truck the rest of the way. Let's go grab the second truck here a minute then. Let's see, where's the second truck? Ah, oh, there it is on the other side. Yes, yeah, so I know we'll keep teasing you folks there with that one uh, sitting there. I think the only reason I uh, bought that here a couple episodes back was to see if it actually worked with a uh, Terraform, because otherwise that would have been like terribly disappointing, right? Everyone go buy it and be like, yeah, it doesn't work with Terraform. So it's pretty much just a glorified object then at that point. I guess you could move like some silage or something within there if made some piles of corn. I guess you could do that, but outside that, I mean, you're not actually doing any digging with that particular excavator, which, uh, again, like I said, just, uh, that'd be rather uh, disappointing. Now, of course, uh, I think we talked about this here a couple episodes back, when the one problem we do have is how are we going to get that monstrosity up to our uh, mine? I'm not sure on that one, everyone. That is going to be a good one, because I we got a bridge and we got, yeah, we got a bunch of obstacles in the way here. Hopefully no one coming this time. Perfect. Okay, we'll do the same thing here up to the uh, clear cut. Good. Go on drive and get the rest of the way up there. That's gotta be the other one. I was gonna say this one hasn't reached. Yeah, that's for sure. In cab, you know, not not overly detailed, but not terrible. Oh, can you imagine driving one of these in real life, everyone? Oh boy. Nope, I've definitely never driven anything this big when it comes to uh, haul trucks or dump trucks. I've driven some dump trucks, Evan, but nothing. Yeah, nothing this big. Nothing even uh, like close to this big. Okay, anyway, other truck is up there. 
Now, of course, with the being up here, but that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be interesting because is it gonna fit underneath our belt? Is it gonna line up with our auto drive route? Only one way to find out, right, Evan? Of course, I bought two of these trucks, and if this doesn't work, this is gonna be uh, a little bit disappointing. Ooh, that might be a little close with our belt. Oh, and we're almost out of dirt too, looks like. Okay, so we need to load at... Actually, let's put you in the right mode here first. Probably that would probably help. So we need to load at... Let's see once here. Clear cut. Clear cut load. There it is. And then we're taking it to the gold wash plant. And we are doing dirt. Again, I don't know if you necessarily need to set this one, but I usually do, so... Ooh, that, uh... I don't know about this, but this might not be good. Well. Oh, there it is. Yeah, okay. I'm going to say no collision, but no, there is a two a collision. Not much of one, but there is a little bit of a collision up there. So I might need to see what's, what I can do about getting that a little bit higher. In fact, I might just have to, like, redo the entire auto drive route here. We'll have to see once. Um, is it going to line up... In about the same spot on the unload. I don't know. We're, yeah. Not sure on that one. Evan. Okay. Are we out of dirt? It would appear we are out of dirt. We got just a little bit there, but not much. Not much at all. Let's see if we can scoop that out of the way here real quick. Come on up. Really? It shut off on it? Um, come on now. Ah, don't you just folks love it? You know, manual ignition, everyone, and it still shuts off on you. I don't know who at uh, Giants came up with that idea, but. See if you all that. There we go. Okay. Yeah, we'll just dump that by this one here, I guess. And then we'll get that uh, fourth belt, and we'll get that lined up a little bit better with the uh, third belt. And then we can kind of continue on digging down the line here. Okay, now we can shut that off. And we'll get our new uh, Bovel EC950 fired up here. That lined up all right? That doesn't look like it, does it? Nope, too far. I'll just uh, extend that out. And looks like I need to change the auto... Or not auto drive. Course place settings here. Open with HUD. Turn that off, please. There we go. Okay. Digging time, Evan. Digging time. Let's make some dirt. Actually, let's just get this turned around here sideways so we just kind of... There we go. That should work. Okay, then we need to turn this on here A as well. So we want to dig out dirt. Change our settings here again. Wrong. Oh, no, wait. This is... Yep, there we go. Radius, 200. Strength, 10. That seems to work pretty good. <clears throat> oh, yeah. It's getting a little bit of a line up here. Everyone. We need to dig some more dirt faster. That does not look like dirt. Hmm. Did I not set? No. Oh. Coal. Dirt. There we go. I did not pick it up yet for some reason. Okay, there must be some dirt or something gumming up the works, which is good. <laughs> Let's hurry up and get that uh, coal out of there. Whoops. Yeah, that is definitely one problem. Yeah, when you, you do something like this, like like what I just did here, and you can just like gum up the entire works, you can really create a big mess in a big hurry, which I guess you probably could in real life too, I guess, right? I mean...
Yeah, I didn't see it pick any up, which I'm not sure why it didn't. That is kind of weird. Unless they don't support coal, maybe. But you know, that would not make sense, because I, I did use those for coal before, I'm pretty sure. So that does not make sense that they don't support coal. I don't know, yeah, don't know why they didn't pick it up, everyone, whatever. We'll just uh, take this coal and uh, go up over the hill here and just, uh, sure, dump that down in there. See if we get this uh, big truck here full now yet. It's going to take a couple more uh, scoops to fill this truck up than it is the previous uh, trucks. Now this is, um, yeah, I think that's in, the, it's in liters, though, versus yards. So I'm not sure what the comparison is. Still probably going to take a couple uh, buckets, even from the big front loader there. Okay, let's try dirt here now. There we go. Yeah, that's weird. I mean, it did not pick the coal up. I don't know. Not that I'm complaining. I mean, I'm definitely glad it didn't because that would have been bad. We would have jammed up the whole works and all our belts and we would have had to, uh, I don't know, probably park another truck underneath of it so we could unload the coal and then go dump the coal somewhere so we get back to the dirt. Yeah, that's the one problem with this one. Hey, again, when you're digging. Because you have to, like, get into the ground, Evan, otherwise it's not going to dig. But at the same time, it pulls you around as well. Oh, now we got all four trucks lined up. Cool. That truck's still not full yet? Oh, my. Oh, there we go. There it is. Now it's full. Or at least it's close enough to being full that it's moving. I'm on excavator. There we go. Maybe a little more careful here so we're not pulling the excavator away if we can help it. Let's see, what do we got? One truck left. One truck left to fill yet. Then we might have to go check and see once if the big truck's going to empty. I'm not sure, but that's going to be the next uh, question here. You can see these trucks definitely fill up a little bit uh, quicker. Also, while we're digging here, let's see if we can read a few uh, comments here a moment as well. Uh, again, haven't been reading a whole lot of comments here. Like, it's just it's hard to read comments while you're... Uh, digging, I guess, or something. It's a lot easier to uh, read comments, at least for me anyway, uh, when you're playing up and down the field simulator as opposed to digging simulator, right? Uh, anyway, Timbo was saying, I think you should farm this map. Uh, every once in a while, bounce up the hill, make sure the trucks have dirt. Uh, I like the sounds of an older farm, maybe use 70s to early 80s equipment. And we'll have to do that. One. We'll, we'll maybe do that. That was one of my options, Evan. Uh, you know, do some uh, mining on the map, then maybe switch over to farming. We'll see once here. So yeah, if folks want to see that, let me know. Let me know. Like I said, uh, I'm, I'm debating either this week or next week everyone switching maps. So we'll, we'll see once here. Kind of, yeah, see once how it goes here. Uh, you know, once we've kind of played with all the equipment we want to play with, I mean, pretty much we're going to switch maps when it comes to mining, I guess. 
you know, there's only so much uh, mining equipment that's really available compared to, say, the farming, uh, you know, equipment that's available. There's just, yeah, yeah, pretty much no end to the farming equipment, so. Uh, Godspeed Transport was a nice gold haul. The massive excavator is exciting, and the rolling Volvo excavator was hilarious, right? A little more dirt piled up here, so the next time another truck pulls up, which I'm not seeing any trucks pull up, which has me a little concerned, everyone, that uh, the big Volvo uh, haul truck is coming up the works down at their gold wash plant. Uh, Tim was also saying on the next map, maybe you should do a vintage farm series, like an old family farm. Uh, which reminds me, by the way, and again, if you uh, folks have any uh, suggestions for the next map I should check out, uh, be sure to uh, let me know of one. I know there was a map uh, before we went to this one everyone was suggesting, too. I'll have to go back and maybe look and see once. I don't remember off the top of my head which map that was. It's kind of a competition between this map and another map. And I don't remember I don't remember which map that was again, everyone, but... Uh, Brian was saying other uh, YouTubers and a few other people I would talk to said when they had a lot of gold bars that made the game really laggy. Um, that would possibly explain it there last episode. We definitely had a lot of gold bars and uh, well, even this episode we're not running a full 60, are we? Which is uh, kind of surprising if you ask me of one. Um, you know, I don't have a 4000 series graphics card, but I do have a 3080. Oh, and it can't even get 60 frames in Farming Simulator? Oh, boy. Okay, well, I think that's enough dirt for now. At least enough dirt for us to go check and see what's, what's going on over here. Because, uh, like I said, I, mean, I suspect we got uh, problems. Oh, actually, the, the problem here is actually... Okay, not the problem I thought it would be. Uh, this is definitely a problem I've had before, though, by the way. Not maybe this bad, though. There we go. So the, the big truck actually did unload, everyone. Um, you know what? Let's actually, uh, with that in mind, seeing how it appears to be working, let's stop this truck. I'm just going to park it over here. And uh, once they're all empty, I'll probably just go ahead and uh, sell these uh, trucks here. Or maybe keep one or something like that. Maybe we'll keep one sell the other two just hey that's one of the trucks we used at some point always fun if you ask me when we go back to the end uh or when you get to the end of a series i'm gonna go back and look at all the equipment you have used at least that you still have anyway yet don't necessarily have all the equipment you used throughout the series but I think we're, uh, once we're done digging on this side, oops, I think I seen that belt move a little bit, whoops. Um, anyway, I was going to say, once we're done digging on this side, everyone, we'll uh, switch to the other side there, pile up some dirt on that side, and then just kind of keep working our way back, I guess. And again, I got to say, when the belts work really nice for this. Uh, as far as being able to automate it with, like, auto drive. Mind you, we could possibly fill the trucks directly with the excavator oven, but as we've discovered here with the series, there are some definitely downsides to doing it that way. Uh, namely with how the dump trucks, haul trucks are modeled as far as their you know, location for dumping and just the way the game physics work essentially, everyone. There are definitely some severe limitations. And then too, you know, if we we're using this auto drive oven, we probably have to sit here constantly adjusting the, the stop points and waypoints and uh, who knows what not. Just, uh, yeah, probably wouldn't work uh, the greatest if you ask me. At least not for automation anyway.
Okay, anyway, I've been looking at the time. It looks like it is time to wrap it up here for this episode. So on that note, you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them down below. And as always, Evan, thanks for watching, and until next time. Oops. Move the belt again.